Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this portfolio website from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in the previous video, we completed the design of the About Us section. So this is how it looks. We can see we have the About Us section displayed over here. Now in this video, we will design this uh, services section that we see right here. So here in the services section, uh, we can see that we have these different services displayed over here. And if I click on any of these, we will have the details of that service displayed down here. So this is kind of like an accordion. And on the right side, we have this image. And this image will be displayed based on the service that is selected right now. So if we select a different service, then uh, we will have a different image displayed over here. So we will do all of that in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so here I'm in my source code and let's go to the HTML file and uh, here after this uh, about us section, let's create a comment and uh, let's tap end of about us section. And uh, let's create a new section and let's give it an ID of services. And uh, in that uh, we will have the services uh, displayed. Now we need to have all of this inside a specific max width. So let's add the wrapper division right here. And the first thing I need to have is this H2. So let's create an H2 and uh, let's type services I offer. And now if you go back to our website, here we can see we have the heading and we have the correct styling displayed over here. That's because we already have styled all the H2 in our website. So if you go to the CSS file here, if you go to this part right here, we can see that we have styled all the H2 in our website. So whenever we create an H2, it will have these styles applied. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, create a division of the class of content. And this we will have an accordion on the left side and an image on the right side. So let's create a division of the class of accordion. And here we will have the accordion. And on the right side, we will have a division. And let's give it a class of image. And uh, in this we will have an IMG. And for the source, let's type images forward slash. And for the first image, let's select uh, the image of the first service. So the first service is called brand identity design. So let's go to the images uh, folder and uh, let's see. So here in the images folder, we can see that we have this file called brand identity dot JPG. So let's add that over here. So by default, this image will be displayed. And if you go back to our website, here we can see that uh, we have the heading and we have the image. And on the left side, we need to have the accordion. So in the accordion, let's add the content of uh, the accordion. So we will have different divisions uh, for each of these accordion items. So this is basically an accordion item. And the same way we have another items over here. So let's go ahead and create a division with the class of accordion item. And uh, in the accordion item, we need to have an accordion header and accordion content. So let's create a division with the class of accordion header. And let's add the heading over here. So let's tap brand identity design. And let's create a paragraph and let's give it a class of accordion content. And I'll just copy this uh, text from here. And uh, let's paste it right here. Now in this way we need to add uh, five more accordion items. So let's copy this accordion item from here. and. Uh, I'll just paste it five more times. So let's go to our design and here we can see we have all these six different accordion items. Now I'm just going to change the content of all of this. So for the second accordion item, we need to have this heading of UI UX design. So I'll just copy this and paste it right here. So this is the second one. And for the paragraph, let's add some content. So just add some basic content over here. Okay, so we have added this paragraph. Now let's go to the third one and uh, here let's copy this print design from here. And uh, let's paste it right here. And let's add something inside the paragraph. And uh, here let's type professional print materials for all your business needs. Okay, the next one is uh, web design. So let's add it over here. And let's add some paragraph. So let's start creating responsive and modern websites that stand out. Or right, then we have social media design. 
so let's type social media design and uh, for the paragraph let's type engaging social media graphics and content that captures attention and then lastly we have illustration so let's add that over here and uh, here for the content let's type custom illustrations and artwork for your brand so we have added all the content of our accordion and this is how it looks right now the next thing we need to do is add the css and make it look like this so let's go to our styler css file and uh, first of all let's add a comment and uh, let's type services section and uh, first of all let's uh, make this content one next to the other so now here if you go to the html file here we can see that we have the content division and in that we have the accordion and uh, then we have the image so we need to have these two elements one next to the other so for the parent division which is content let's add a display of flex so i'll just type services content display of flex and uh, let's add a gap of 40 pixels so this is how it looks now let's go ahead and add a font size for all the content inside our website so let's go to the body and here I'll just add a font size of 1.125 rem and let's scroll down and uh, let's continue with our styling now for the accordion let's add a max width and let's set it to 600 pixels right now let's style the accordion header so let's type accordion hyphen header and let's set the font weight to bold let's add a margin bottom of uh, 12 pixels and uh, let's set the cursor to pointer so now when we hover over this uh, we have this pointer now before the header we need to have this bullet that we see over here so we have this uh, bullet with uh, yellow color so for that let's use the before selector and uh, here let's tap accordion header column column before and let's set the content to blank and we'll position this relative to this accordion header so here let's tap position relative and uh, here we'll type position absolute and uh, let's set the width and the height to 8 pixels and let's set the border radius to 50% so that we have round shape and let's set the background color to var highlight color that we created as a CSS variable and here we can see we have the bullet now we need to have some spacing between this heading and this uh, bullet so for that we will set the left value to negative 16 pixels and the top value to 8 pixels and this is how it looks now we need to bring all of this to the right a little bit so let's go to the accordion header and here for the accordion header let's add a margin left so that uh, we can compensate for this so let's tap margin left of 16 pixels and this is how it looks right now let's go ahead and style the accordion item division so here we have this accordion item and that we have the accordion header and the content so let's go ahead and type accordion item and uh, let's set the border bottom to one pixel solid 333 which is dark gray and let's add a margin bottom of eight pixels so here we have this border bottom and let's also add padding top and bottom so let's tap padding block which is padding top and bottom and let's set it to 12 pixels so this is how it looks now by default we want just one of these services to be active so we want the accordion content of this first one to be displayed by default and all of this should be hidden we just want to display the headings of all of these so for that we will target the accordion content so here we have the accordion content over here after the header and uh, we will set the max height to zero and I will also set the overflow to hidden so that everything outside the height will be hidden so now we can see that just the headings are being displayed now what we will do is uh, we will display the content of the service or the accordion item which is active so we will add a class called active when we want it to be displayed so let's type accordion item dot active and if you have the active class for the accordion item then uh, for the accordion content we will set the max height to a larger value let's try 200 pixels and by default here we will also set the opacity to zero and here we'll set the opacity to one and uh, we'll also add a little bit of animation so let's tap transform translate y of negative 10 pixels and here we'll just type transform translate y of zero so it will 
go back to the default position when it has the active class. And we also have a smooth transition. So for that, we will add a transition property over here and let's tap all 0.4 seconds. And we'll add a cubic bezier for the curve. So let's tap 0 0.4, 0, 0 0.21. So you can play around with these values and get your desired effect. And let's go back to the HTML file. And by default, we will add the active class to the first accordion item. So let's tap active over here. And here we can see that the content of the first service is being displayed. Let's also add some padding to this on the left and the right. So here, let's type padding. Let's set it to zero for top and bottom and 20 pixels left and right. So this is how it looks. Right now, when we click on these headings, we want to display this content. So we need to basically set the active class to this one and remove it from the other elements. So for that, we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll use some JavaScript for that. So we need to target all these accordion item elements over here. So we have this class of accordion item. So let's go to the JavaScript file. And here, let's tap const accordion items equals document dot query selector all dot accordion item. So this will target all the accordion items and add it inside this accordion items uh, constant. And here let's tap accordion items dot for each and we'll use this for each loop. And for each of the items, let's call it item. And let's create this uh, arrow function over here. And uh, we will add an event listener for each of these items. So let's tap item dot add event listener. And let's listen for the click event. And here also let's create an arrow function. And the first thing we will do is we need to remove the active class from wherever it is right now. So let's tap document dot query selector. And here let's tap accordion item dot active. So this will select the item which has the active class. And here we'll also add a question mark to make sure that we already have this class before performing the other operations. So let's tap dot class list dot remove and uh, let's remove the active class. So we are basically checking whether we have an accordion item with an active class and we are essentially removing the active class. Right now we need to add the active class to the current item which was clicked. So we are referencing it with this name item. So let's tap item dot class list dot add active. And now let's go back to our website and let's see whether it works. So let's click on the second heading and we have the second one being displayed. So it is working all right. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to change the image based on the selected accordion item. And for that we need to reference uh, the image. So if we go to the HTML file, here we have this division of the class of image. And in that we have the IMG tag. So we need to reference this IMG tag. So let's type const image element equals document.querySelector. And here is tab dot image. And in that we have the IMG tag. And here, we need to update the source of the image. And uh, if we go to our images uh, folder, here we have different images for each of our uh, services. So what we will do is in the HTML file, for each of the accordion item, we'll also add a data attribute so that we know which image to be displayed. So here let's type data and let's call it image equals. And here we will add the link of the image. So for the first image, which is brand identity, we have this image called brand identity dot jpg. So it is inside the images folder. So I just tap images brand identity dot jpg. And let's do the same for all the other accordion items. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here. And for this one, we need to change the image name to so here we can see we have ui ux design dot jpg. So let's change this to ui ux design dot jpg. And uh, let's copy it down here for the third accordion item. And here we need to change it to print design. So here we have this image called print design. So let's type print design. And then we have another accordion item. And this one is for web design. So we have this image called web design. So let's type web design. And then we have the next one, which is social media design. So we have this image called social media design. Let's add that over here. And then we have illustration. So we have this image called illustration.jpg. All right, so we have added the data attribute for all these uh, services. And now we can use this data image attribute and get the image that we want. So here, we just create a const called image path. And uh, let's set it equal to item. 
And in that we have this data attribute called image. So for that we need to type dataset dot image. This will give us the link of the image which is inside this data attribute. And now we need to simply change the source of the image. So we can just type image element which we are referencing over here dot src equals image path. And now if you go back and if I click on any of these, we can see that the image is changing. Now we can also add some smooth transition for this uh, image change. So for that, let's go back to our CSS and uh, here let's add some properties. So I'll just type services in that we have the image division and in that we have the IMG tag and let's type opacity of one and uh, let's type transition of opacity 0 0.2 seconds is in out and here let's type services image IMG and let's add a class called fade out when we want it to fade out. So let's type fade out and here we'll just set the opacity to zero. So now we can go ahead and go to our JavaScript file and here we can simply go ahead and first add this class of fade out to the image. So let's type image element dot class list dot add fade out and then we can go ahead and set a timeout of uh, let's say 300 milliseconds. So before this let's type set timeout and for the amount let's type 300 milliseconds and let's add this line of code inside our set timeout and here let's remove the fade out class after we change the image so let's type image element dot class list dot remove fade out right now let's go ahead and check whether it works so let's click on one of these uh, services and we can see that the image is fading out and the other image is being displayed so that's basically how you can design this services section using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.